Now continuing from our last lesson, we healed the middle part of this uh, a water, a water fountain as you can see here. We got rid of the graffiti. Now in this lesson, we're going to get rid of this manhole. So how would we do this? Well first I would create a new layer. Alt click and we're going to call this manhole so I know that I'm working with the manhole layer. Okay, I'm going to zoom in to the area. So I'm going to press Z for shortcut. And we'll zoom into this area because I'm not worried about the other parts of the picture. Now I could use the healing brush, but watch what happens. So you define a source, let's say here, but watch what happens. See it blends in with this manhole, so you don't get the green that you get over here. So the healing brush is not the tool for this. Now you could, let's say control Z and use a pattern. So I can define a pattern by selecting the marquee here like this a nice big pattern and then I can go to edit define pattern from selection and name it grass 2 because I've already created one click OK and then control D and then reselect the healing brush and choose a pattern but watch what happens when I oh let me select the pattern grass 2 and when I use that look what happens see it does the same thing okay so it doesn't work Okay, because it's blend, it's taking this and blending it in with this. We don't want that. So what tool would be perfect for this? Well, Control Z, the clone stamp tool, believe it or not. So let's go back to the clone stamp tool. Okay. And I'm going to use probably a, a big enough, no, eh, a little bit smaller. And I'm going to go on this side first. So I'm going to define a source is right here. And then I'm just going to go right over it. And with the clone stamp, remember we want our brush to be soft so it blends in. Then I'm going to resample again around this area. Okay, then I'm going to sample over here to give it some different texture. Okay, so there's no repeating patterns that you can pick up. And now I'm going to go back over here with the healing brush. Choose sampled. Sample all layers. Okay, and I'm going to just do little quick marks here, here. Define a separate source maybe over here to bring some darkness into this area. Sample here. And look at that. The manhole is gone from the picture. Okay. So let me do a, a stamp layer, which is Control Alt Shift E, which will merge all the visible layers into one. And then I can show you the before and after. So this is the before, and this is the after. This is the before, and this is the after. That's the power of the clone tool and the healing brush.